Hi guys. Hello. Um, so so this this lecture is about the uh, reproductive system. So let's get started. So we first talk about the uh, this is the extension from the previous lecture about the uh, endocrine system. So earlier we talked about the hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, adrenal glands, pancreas, and now today we are going to talk about the ovaries and testes. So these are the reproductive system. So um, the reproductive system, the uh, ovaries and te testes uh, are gonads. So if there's a quiz question saying that uh, which of following is a gonad, you know that in male is ovaries, oh, sorry, in male is testes, in, in female is ovaries. Yeah. And what is gonads do? What does it do? No location function. All right. Now, now you know that it's location. And what is what does it do? Gonads do two things. One is to um to to produce the gametes. So gametes are haploid cells. So it's a it's a cell that doesn't have uh, the uh, two copies of the uh, chromosome. It only has one copy, and so it will. Uh, mate with another one become a, a diploid cell. So that's the gamete. In male, the gamete is sperm. The, in female, is oocyte. That's right here. And so that's one function. And the other function is to produce sex hormone. So in the male, it produces testosterone. We touch a little bit about it when we talk about when we talk about the adrenal cortex. And so adrenal cortex has the androgen that is a precursor of the sex hormone. In male, here, it also produces the, uh, here, here, produces testosterone. We will talk more in detail about it. And in female, it produces estrogen. That is the primary one. Female also produces progesterone. Uh, during particular stage or particular phase in the menstrual, men menstrual cycle. So we will also talk about those. So that is the gonads. And uh, so let's start by uh, looking at the male. So male reproductive system is right here. So the gonads are the testes or testicles. And uh, some review or overview about the basic uh, anatomy about the system. You have the gonads. Sorry, you have the testes. This one is uh, produced the sperm and the sperm uh, for the uh, uh, the uh, uh, reproductive purpose, then sperm will flow through the best deference. So I suppose you guys learned about it in the anatomy already, but uh, this is just an overview. And I think we I probably will have quiz on it. I, I have not, no idea yet, but um, you need to know that this is Testes, all right, very basic, right? And testes, um, inside of this testes or testicles, you have this uh, epi, epi, epididymis, epididymis. This is basically is a, 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 a network to um, to uh, prepare the sperms to leave the testicles and start to enter into the vest deference right here. We have left and right. Vest deference, I show you the corona view or transaction view, also the sagittal view. And so you can see that you have left and right. And when it enter into the pelvic uh, cavity, it will go around the bladder, go around the bladder, go behind the bladder. And the two vest best deference will meet, will go through a, a gland. This is called uh, seminal vesicles. And then two will meet. Two will meet in the area of prostate gland. So here is one prostate gland. So two will come in and then meet there. And through the prostate gland, they will go through the urethra and this urethra is the same urethra that, that 
collect the urine from the bladder. So the next lecture we are we are going to talk about the urine, urination, and so that's that, and then go through it and the urethra and the rib. So that's that. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. And this ureter, that is the uh, urinary system. Bladder, urinary bladder. Yeah, so that's that. All right. So that's the basic anatomy. Now, let's look into more like physiology. What the main area that we are going to focus on is the testes or testicles. This is the gonads. So it do two things. Uh, produce sperms and also produce testosterone. And we will need to know how do how does it produce sperms and how does it produce testosterone, right? So we just did the histology, right? We just look into the histology. As I told you earlier in the histology that the if we observe the testicles under microscope, we will likely to see something like this, right? Uh, a funny way to say it is that it, it looks like pie or pizza, right? Um, it's easy to memorize it like that, right? Yeah. So here is a cartoon of that. You know, if you look at the histology, it really looks like a pizza. But if you draw it more organized way that uh, it will appear like this one here. So what do we have here? So here I want to show you that if we look into the internal structure of the testicles, you will find that there are multiple tubules. There is a name for it. It's important. You must know. This name is called seminephros tubule. Seminephros tubule. I think it's right here. I don't I cannot I cannot mark it right. I cannot no I cannot. All right. Seminephros tubule. So this seminephros tubules is the cradle of sperm. This is where sperm is produced. So you need to know that name. You basically need to know the terminology and just write it on another piece of paper and uh, you know just call it out. Just like how I remember you guys name, right? I just call it out multiple times. It actually doesn't take too much time. You call it five times, you remember it already. So just say it out. Yeah, just pronounce it. It also helps you to train your brain. So it's good for several things. It's an exercise. Yeah. So here is the seminephros tubule. So if we cut it through that seminephros tubule, we will see something like this. All right. So it's cut through something like this. So what do we have here? We have three types of cells in it here. So the first one is sperm. So that's the primary one. This is the whole purpose to produce sperms. Now with this one, you can see that there are region, we call it basement membrane. So it is the surrounding area. So this is the surrounding area. Inside of it, we call it lumen. So any tube, the flow, the place that flows go through is called lumen. So here is lumen. This is the basement membrane. All right. So, um, so where is where is where are sperms? Sperms you can see they are here. However, the sperms uh, need to grow to be mature to become sperm. In males, male has sperm stem cell. So it means that you have unlimited amount of production of the sperm, which is in contrast to female. Female only has limited oocytes. They they don't have oocytes stem cell after birth, after you know, uh, leaving mother's womb, leaving be uh, be birth, uh, be born. After being born, there will be no oocytes stem cell. But in contrast, baby boy uh, has has the uh, sperm stem cell. So this sperm stem cell locate in the basement membrane right here. So the name of the sperm stem cells is spermatogonia. So these sperm stem cells will grow to be matured to become sperm cells. And while it grow, it also need to move up. So they will move from the basement, you know, 
very low level, to fight up, to grow up, to go through it, to go through it, to become the true sperm. So that's the first one, sperm. You have sperm stem cell, that's spermatogonia, the mature sperm right here. So that's one. There are two other cells that they are supporting. They are supporting cells to support these production or these process. The one that directly contact sperm development is called Satori. They support sperm development. So Satori, easy to remember, Satori. Satori cells are here. So sperm has to go through Satori. Let me show you another picture right here. Right here. So here is sperm, spermatogonia right here. They have to go through Satori. You need to know Satori are spread around the seminiferal tubule right here. So let me show you here. So they are spread around. So, okay, earlier right here. So they are here. So they basically hold hand in hand together and circling around the environment. So it looks like uh, if you want to become a true sperm, you need to go through us. Yeah, so that's the situation. So here is a beautiful picture showing you that if you want to become a true sperm, you need to go through us. Here is tight junction, very tight. Sperm has to go through it. So through that <clears throat> uh, movement, they have to go through a lot of struggle. That is the you know training, right? So every gentleman has to go through that training. And then um, to become the true sperm. So the first one, supporting cell is Satori. So what does it do? It supports spermatogenesis. So it's, so it supports, they support the sperm development. So that's the first one. So that's right here. They are around here. So inside of this seminiferous tubule, you have sperm, you have Satori. However, surrounding the seminiferal tubule right here. So in the region that's not in the tubule, but it's surround in the neighbor uh, region right here. We have the interstitial cells. It also has a name called Leydig cell. People call it Leydig cell more common because interstitial is too generalized. Several things can be interstitial, right? This interstitial in the testicles has a special name it's called Ladies cell. So this they, these these cells, what's their function? Their function doesn't do not directly help spermatogenesis. Do not directly interact with sperm development. However, their function is to provide the environment, which is to produce testosterone. So the function of ladies cell is to produce male sex hormone. So that's that, you know, very simple. Male reproductive system is it. It's only five minutes and you know everything already. Yes, the seminiferal tubule, uh, his sperm, satori, and the lady cells. Satori supports spermatogenesis. Lady cell produce testosterone. All right. All right, so that's that. Here, spermatogenesis, satori, lady cells. Lumen, basement, sperm cells. Yeah, so that's everything. All right. So this is a summary of what we just talked about. Cells in the testicles. We have two groups of cells inside of the seminiferous tubules. They are sperm cells, including spermatogenesis, sorry, spermatogonia and the sperm cells. There are another one which is Satori. Satori nourish sperm development. In outside of sorry. Outside of that seminiferal tubule, we have lady cell. Lady cell's function is to produce Testosterone.
All right. So as everything, um, just show you a picture that here is the semi nephronous tubule. You have the satori, you have the sperm cells. Here is interstitial stroma. That is a place between the tubule. Here you have the blood vessel, et cetera, and the ladish cells. So that's that. We show you this one already. And, uh, and uh, all right, all right, all right. So, so that's that. Now, the next thing you need to know is that, okay, you know, in our earlier lecture, we talk about, here we go. Uh, where is it? Here, here, here. We talk about that the, uh, the anterior pituitary gland release three group of hormones, TSH, ACTH, and uh, uh, um, uh, gonadotropin, FSH, and LH. All right, so we talk about that. And then we finish the story about the function of TSH, which is to act on the thyroid gland. We also talk about the story regarding the function of ACTH, which is to act on the adrenal cortex. We have not talked about the FSH, LH yet. So here is that. So how do FSH and LH X on testicles, right? So here we have two cells. We have three cells. They will get influenced by FSH and LH uh, individually or respectively. Yeah, so that's that, right? So let's take a look. So here we have the Satori cell, we have Lady cell. Satori cells um, is influenced by FSH. So FSH acts on Satori to stimulate the spermatogenesis. So FSH acts on Satori. LH, luteinizing hormone, acts on Lady cells to cause latex cells to produce testosterone. So that's that. So quick question is, which cells is directly uh, influenced by the FSH? So that's the histatory. Which cells is directly influenced by the LH? That is latex. So easy, right? LL, latex, L luteinizing hormone. Yeah. So that's that. That's everything now. I think that's everything. So here we connect back to the story we talked earlier. Hypothalamus release gonadotropin releasing hormone that will act on the anterior pituitary gland to cause it to release FSH and LH. Then here is the second half of that story uh, we are talking about today. That is that LH acts on latex cells, causing latex cells to produce testosterone. FSH acts on sertoli to support sperm development. The ladish cells which produce testosterone, testosterone has multiple functions. This is male sex hormone. So it has function to facilitate everything, uh, not just the testicles, but also a lot of male sexual characteristics. Yeah, so that's that. And they have a negative feedback to tell the brain that, okay, we have enough, right? So that's that. I think that's everything now. So this is the thing we talk about. Uh, GnRH release from the hypothalamus, causing anterior pituitary gland to release FSH and LH. FSH acts on testes, acts on the satori cells for gametes development. LH acts on the ladish cells for to cause the testosterone production. So that's that. Yes. All right. Let's take a break and then we will move on to female reproductive system.